Mary is more spacious than Noah's Ark. Though Noah's Ark foreshadowed Mary, St. Alphonsus notes, she's even more accommodating than that huge ship. Mary has been called an Ark more spacious than that of Noah. For only two animals of every kind were brought into the Ark of Noah. But under the mantle of Mary, the righteous and sinners all find their place. This was one day revealed to Saint Gertrude in a vision. She saw a multitude of wild beasts, such as lions and leopards, who took refuge under the mantle of Mary. Not only did she not drive them away, but with her gentle hands she caressed them, so that they might not flee away. The animals that entered Noah's Ark remained animals. But sinners who are received under the mantle of Mary don't remain sinners. She is certain to change their hearts and to render them dear to God. The Blessed Virgin herself said to Saint Bridget, however much a man may have sinned, if he returns to me with a genuine intention of repentance, I'm ready at once to receive him. I don't pay attention to the sins with which he's burdened, but only to the good disposition in which he comes. And then I don't refuse to anoint and heal his wounds, for I am called, and truly am, the Mother of Mercy. Mother of Mercy, I will then say to you, in the words of Saint Bernard, remember that it has never been heard of in any age, that any sinner who turned to you was rejected by you. I am a miserable sinner, but I turn to you and trust in you. Saint Alphonsus Liguori, the glories of Mary in God's presence, consider. Dot dot. Given the pattern of sins in my life, which beast entering the ark might best represent me? Am I asking Mary to help me be transformed more fully into God's image instead? Closing Prayer From a prayer of Saint Alphonsus, in you, O Mother of God, I have unbounded confidence. From you I hope for grace to be sorry for my sins as I should, and from you I hope for strength never again to fall into them.